Welcome to part two of making a shared collaborative drawing space thing in the browser with P5.js, Node, and Sockets. So what I had before was just a simple Node program. The only thing that it does is spit out my Socket server is running. But our job right now is to actually add code to this program that starts a web server and makes Sockets available for the P5.js drawing thing to connect to. But here's the thing, I missed something in my previous video where I talked about the fact that we're going to have this node server and we're going to have this P5.js sketch. The P5.js sketch is going to connect to the node server with sockets. But interestingly enough, if you could just forget about sockets for a second, there's another reason why you might like to write your own node server to host your actual files as well, right? When you do client-side programming, the JavaScript code executes on the browser, but the browser has to get that JavaScript code from somewhere. Like when you type in google.com and there's some JavaScript running in, on your browser that Google wrote, you know, the JavaScript is sitting on Google's server, gets sent to your browser via an HTTP request, hypertext transfer protocol. So one thing that we want the server to actually do beyond just sockets is host the HTML and JavaScript files for the sketch itself. So before I even get to the sockets, I want my server to be, come, to be a web server. And I could write some node code to do that, but a way to do that that's a little bit easier than writing node code from scratch is to use something called a node framework, a node package, a node framework or package, I think are good words, something called Express. So the first thing I want to do is show you how to install Express, use Express, and write some code. Express is a, I guess, a minimalist web application framework. A lot of things that you want to do very commonly, like host files or set up, you know, query or route or all the kind of stuff that I might get to in other videos. Instead of having to write all the code for them, you can call on some functions in Express that handle a lot of that stuff for you. So let's come back over here. And I'm going to, <laughs> the computer's over here. I'm going to go back to Terminal. And one thing I want to do first, I'm going to attempt to be a proper citizen in the world of Node programming. And I'm going to run, you don't, you know, my Node program worked without doing this, but it's often a good idea to, 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 uh, to write this command called npm init. What npm init does is it sets up, npm stands for, by the way, node package manager, and I'm gonna need the node package manager to install Express. And what npm init does is it allows me to um, <clears throat> sort of set up a configuration file that says some stuff about my project. And you know what? This looks good. My project is it's gonna be called Sockets Coding Rainbow. Uh, can no longer contain capital letters, so I will rewrite that without capital letters. Version 1.0 is good. Description, uh, sockets, example, live on YouTube. It's basically entry point, server.js, test command, I don't worry about that. I'll worry about that later. Uh, sockets, p5.js, node, author is me. And license, I don't know, figure that out later. Yes, this seems fine. So I went through this npm init thing, and it, what that actually did is it created this new file called package.json. And what package.json is, is it's a JSON file with information about my project. Again, I could probably do this without this completely. Look at that. How does it know that the dependencies are express in socket.io? Whoa. <laughs> Some crazy internet thing just happened. Did I put that in? Oh no, I'm in the wrong place. I opened the wrong, <laughs> I opened my earlier example. Okay, this was my earlier example. Hey, by the way, I'm not doing, I did this earlier today. I'm not just figuring it out right now. Okay, close that. I should go here. This is the package.json file that just got created. And you can see here, there is the information that I typed in, the title, the version, and you don't see, what, you're, what you don't see are dependencies. So the first thing that I need to do in order to be able to add this thing, oops, <laughs> dramatic moment, to add this thing called Express, is I need to put in this package.json file that I'm going to use a node package called Express. Only, I don't actually have to type it in there because what I'm going to do is I'm going to just say npm, can you see this, I gotta move this over, npm install Express. Now, I want to do one more thing. I want to dash, I want to write dash dash save. And what this command is going to do is it's going to say, put save express as a module that should be associated with this project. 
I'm going to do this. It's going to blah, 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 magic, magic. And then if I go back to here, you can see now in this file, it has a dependency on express. So this is just a lot of, I mean, this is like the least interesting thing I could probably ever do with my day is talk about like package.json and package manager express, blah, blah, blah. But these are the steps you want to do to kind of set up your project before you write code. You'll also notice, by the way, that there's this new directory here called node modules. So node modules is where the, all the code and stuff for express actually got placed by when I typed, um, when I typed npm install express. Okay, so later I'm going to add the socket module, but right now I'm just going to keep the express module. <coughs> okay, so I hope that cough wasn't too loud into the microphone. Uh, what's next, everybody? So now we can start to, oh, that's, the, that's my secret code. <laughs> no, not here. So now we can start to actually write, oh. we can actually start to write some code uh, into our server itself. So one thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to say var express equals require express. So this is a way, is that, that what I wrote over here? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> this is a way of importing the module that you're using. So the module name is express, and I want to require that express is something that I have access to in my node program. And essentially, I want to import all that is the lie, all that is the framework express, and I want all of that into a single variable called express. The reason why I can do, and that variable, by the way, is a function call. I mean, the, the variable is a variable, but it's, it's, it's storing a function, a JavaScript function. You know what that JavaScript function does? It makes an express application. So I can trigger the express function and store the result of that in a variable called app. And then, even better, what I can do is I can say um, server equals app dot listen port 3000. So now, dare I say, if I run the server, my socket server is running. And look at that. It didn't go back to terminal. Something's happening. Something is there on port 3000. And I can go to my browser and say localhost, right? This local host being the servers running on my local computer. If this server were running on you know, the New York Times website, I would go to newyorktimes.com colon port 3000, but I'm not the New York Times in case you were wondering. And now I'm gonna hit enter. And now it's like, uh, it doesn't know what to do. But this is reasonable, right? Because I haven't told it what to do. There's no files, there's no instructions for it to follow, but this is the basic idea. The basic idea is that I want to, and, and by the way, you could do this without Express, but it would be like 10, 11, 12 lines of code. So I'm using Express to set myself up for the future of life of less worry. <laughs> Express will give you less worry in your life. So I require the library, I create the app, I listen on port 3000, and now what do I want to do? What I want is when the user goes to my website, I want them to see my P5.js sketch. So the main thing I want to happen is I want to send my HTML file along with my JavaScript file and everything else so that they can experience my sketch. Well, one thing I need to do in order to do that is I need to go to this directory, right? This directory has a lot of stuff in it right now. It has both the node stuff like server.js and package.json and the node modules, and it also has the p5.js stuff, an HTML file, sketch.js, and a library folder. Ugh, I don't like this. Everything's mixed and a mess. So I want to make a folder, and I'm going to make that folder called sketch. Now, truth be told, probably if you see examples, most people are going to call that folder public. Let's call it public. The reason why I'm going to call it public is this is like going to be where I put files that I want the public to be able to see. When the public goes to my web server, they get these files. And so what are the things, I don't want them to see my server code, but I want them to see my p5.js sketch. So I want the HTML file, the libraries, and my JavaScript file, and I want to put that here in public. Now, what I need to do here is add another line of code which allows which says, I want to host those files. Whenever anybody goes to my website, I want them to see those files. So the way that I do that, and I'm just going to copy it from over here. Um, and I'm going to put it right here. So this is what the code looks like. App.use express.static public. So what's the word static for? So the word static here is hosting static files. So those are files that aren't dynamic and changing. They're just like, here's an HTML file, here's a JavaScript file, here's some images. I want to host everything. I want, I want 
the app to use, to, to host everything in that public directory. <laughs> so that when the user goes to my website, they see what's in the public directory. So I'm going to hit save. And now I'm going to hit control C. I'm going to run the server again. My socket server is running. I'm going to hit refresh. And look at that. I don't see cannot get anymore, but I don't see anything in there. Why don't I see anything in there? Well, I don't see anything there because there's no actual sketch. So let me go into public. Let me go into sketch.js. Let me say create canvas. 200, 200. Let me say uh, background 51. Let me say ellipse, like mouse X, mouse Y, 60, 60. And let me refresh again. And you can see there we go. So now I actually am hosting a P5.js sketch from Node with just with Express, with just an, uh, you know, four, four slash five lines of code. So by the way, I have another video which I would like to reference somehow with a link where I looked at how you can run a local server on your computer using Python simple server. Well now, here's another way you can run just a local server on your own computer with Node, with Express, with four lines of code. So we've got the basic idea now. We know what Node is, we've installed it, we've got Express, we added a little bit of code, we are now seeing our sketch in the browser. The next thing I need to do is add the socket package. I need this server to be able to make socket connections to the browser, the client itself, to be able to send messages back and forth. And that's what I will do in the next video.